Okay, well, we've had a good run, but it's time to take on the final boss of the game. Gigimon hardly sounding like an expert here. Hey, you've explored everywhere else in the world, huh? Well, you haven't been to Mount Infinity yet, so he's probably there. Why not? Not really inspiring much confidence, but uh, okay, let's go. So now that he's done with his little pep talk, I can talk to him again and he'll start telling me what Digimon have arrived and what their jobs are, as usual. So let's see if he has anything interesting to say. I'll be sure to highlight them. I love snacks. Oh, Gigimon. Don't we all? Oh, Numamon gonna open a secret shop, apparently. It's no longer a secret. Well, of course it's not. Gigimon, you blabbermouth. Alright. Feeling pretty good about this. Gonna take on the final dungeon. I don't think anything can stop us now. Uh, oh, well, except for maybe that. A dragon sneak attack. <laughs> Ambush! I like how, I like to think we're saying it as if we're not quite sure that's what this is. Am ambush! This is, that's, that's the right word, right? This is, this is an ambush, Erdramon. So yeah, this is a scripted event. Once you have 50 prosperity points and you talk to Gigimon, Gigimon will tell you about Mount Infinity and that part of the island will open up. And once you leave, you will get attacked by Erdramon here, pretty similar to how Greymon attacks you. Once you talk to him with, I think it's uh, 30 prosperity points. So. For Hercules Kabuterimon, this isn't, uh, it's not too terrible of a fight. Nothing too tough. Although he is, oh no, Harold, that's embarrassing. He's confused and he just shot a random fireball into town. Pretty sure we caused some extensive property damage there. Probably hit the item shop, but, uh, well, I, I think they're probably insured. But yeah, I mean, if you're not ready for it and you just talk to Gigimon, like, if you have a rookie, you're boned. There's, you're not gonna be able to take this guy. So, kind of a dick move. Especially the fact that they do it, like, twice to you. Things are pretty much over, though. Gonna use high Electro Shocker. Oh, that didn't kill him, are you serious? Couldn't even end on a high note, huh? Well, there we go. And by treatment, I mean, like, psychiatric help. Erdramon, you are bonkers! Even though he tried to kill me, I'm glad. I guess rather than take him to, you know, the actual medical clinic, we just kind of stuck him in the back of Gigimon's house. This is just like that Stephen King novel. So let's see how Erdramon is doing. See if he's... Recovering okay. And uh, it doesn't quite look like it, at least not in my opinion. He's doing something really weird with his eyes. I mean, I've heard of rapid eye movement when you dream, but this is ridiculous. I think he's having some kind of seizure or something, but... 
Eh, it's good enough. And let's see what my prosperity rating is. 87, so that's pretty good. Uh-oh. Oh, that's not good. Okay, well, like, oh, man. I guess Harold's gonna die at the end of the day, so we should probably get cracking on Mount Infinity, huh? Here it is! <laughs> right in Gigi Mun's backyard. Normally, there's a waterfall back there, but it seems to have cleared up after the ambush. And, uh, yeah, just gonna have to speed through Mount Infinity, apparently, because I really don't want to have to level up a new guy. I'm not really sure what this guy was Do it after you defeat me? I don't know what you're talking about, Vermilomon. Let's... Do... do what? Okay. Alright, I don't have time for this. I'm pretty sure that each battle takes an hour? Harold has like half the day left of his life, so we gotta, we gotta be kind of frugal about this. Oh! Uh oh. I only had to poop, apparently. <laughs> and I like how that cyber Digimon just... He saw... He was, he was itching for a fight. He was charging, just barreling along, and he... He saw that poop, and he just turned right around. That was a good defense mechanism, Harold. I don't know if I would have necessarily recommended you soiling yourself, defecating in front of the enemy, but it, it did work. So I'll give you that. Harold would have a longer lifespan if he had naturally digivolved, but since I gave him the beetle pearl to turn him into H. Cobb Terrymon, that's I yeah, that's why he's just gonna die pretty young. If he digivolved into an ultimate normally, he'd he'd be alive for like I think at least five more days. So yeah, Mount Infinity. Um interesting design choice. Kind of incompetently guarded. Hey guys, just a suggestion. Maybe spread out next time. Don't all clump together when you're charging an enemy. I don't know. I mean, you can do what you want. Oh. Well, that's rude. Get out of here. Oh, you guys guarding the... Oh no, no, the exit's up there. So, so why are you guys down here? What's the point? Oh, it's an item box. Okay. Oh, man. Forget about guarding the entrance and exit. We have to go block this item box. This large MP, it's just so valuable. Hmm, now this guy's not guarding anything either. This is some interesting enemy placement. This is today's last job, says Rockman. Well, Rockman, as tempting as it is, to beat you up on the day before your retirement, I'd rather not waste the time. And I, I don't, I don't care about getting that item box. The other Rockmon, he's safe too. Oh man, 
Devamon with the verbal smackdown. That taunt has shaken me to my core. You will lose! I mean, how do you come back from from hearing that? I don't think you can, to be honest. We have already run into Devamon once before, you might recall. Back when we went to Myotis Mun's mansion the second time. Devamon was up to all sorts of wacky hijinks. What with corrupting Myotis Mun's Frankenstein project Skullgreymon and leaving Myotis Mun for dead. A new technique learned. Oh, Harold, if only we had more time to use it. Devamon also being brainwashed by some unknown evil force. Also, Devamon and Harold kind of awkward. Oh, there he goes. I'm gonna say awkwardly clipping into each other. But uh, yeah, he kind of sensed that he was maybe a little too close for comfort. There's like a, it's it's a little personal bubble of space that everybody's comfortable with, and some... Eh, you, Devamon, you just gotta respect other people's boundaries. So that was the first of a few mini-boss fights we're gonna have before the final boss. Just trying to see if I can't lure this guy out. Pretty sure I can sneak by him. Yeah. Just gotta get a breakaway. Ugh. This guy's being awfully rude. Yeah, go home. I get, I get it, Rockmon, okay? You'd be surprised. I don't consider this to be particularly fun. If I had the option between being at home and trying to lure a Rockmon away from his guard post, it's not really much of a toss-up. Alright, let's see if I can't do this again. No. I don't think so. I'm just gonna fight him. It's important to follow orders, says this Rockmon, and that is why you're gonna die. If you just abandon your orders and let us by, we wouldn't have to beat you up, but... I still think it's important to follow orders. That was the that was the Rockmon saying that as you ran away. Okay. I think I gotta mix up these techniques again. Buster Dive has been nothing but trouble. Okay. Gonna give Red Inferno a whirl. Don't think it can be any worse than Buster Dive. Buster Dive is that, uh, I mean, he's Harold's been doing it, but it's that move where he sort of launches himself across the screen a little bit. And it's not, it's not too terrible, but if the enemy is, is mobile, then it's, it's a lot harder to hit him. And, uh, yeah, it's just, it's pretty slow. I don't really, it's, it's not worth it. Okay. They're mixing it up a little. They're the oh, the portal's there. I was gonna say the exit portal could be anywhere. So let's see what's down here. I'm not actually gonna get whatever's down here. Just just for the sake of curiosity. And there's nothing. There's just a random random enemy down there, guarding a dead end. So have fun with that, Pytomon. And here, we have mini-boss number two. Uh, I feel it in my bones. I think that means that rain is coming, actually. We're just mistaking that for fear. So 
So Harold is on his his deathbed, but we still gotta we can't pass up a fight. We gotta beat up every Digimon. Well, not every Digimon, but the important Digimon we have to beat up. And this guy is one of them. This is Megadramon. And uh, from what I recall, this is gonna be a tough fight. But let's see how Red Inferno is gonna do. Oh god, <laughs> this is not gonna be a good fight. I mean, I'll still win, but it's just gonna be... gonna be kind of a pain. Gow, Megadramon, you dick. The fight was already over, and he had to get in one last hit after the bell. That's a good question, Bumble. Megadramon, the strong, silent type. He will talk eventually. He just... He's kind of a sore loser. So just one more mini-boss before the actual boss, and I think it's gonna be... on this screen? Maybe not? Okay. Metal Greymon! Well, spoiler. I mean, I already said he was a mini-boss, so... So sorry. kind of lucky. I probably should have gotten rid of Red Inferno. And it's not... I don't think Red Inferno is that move. I'm pretty sure it's the one... Merriman uses it when you fight him. It's... Uh, it, it, like, envelops the screen in red, and it's got, like, pretty much gigantic area of effect. I think as long as you're on the screen, you're pretty much gonna get hit by it unless you block. I thought it was gonna be that, but apparently not. Ah, well, shucks. You're this close to pulling it off, Metal Greymon. I guess there is kind of a benefit to having a delayed attack like that. Okay, Metal Greymon, now I'll show you how a finishing move is done. Oh, I mean, after this. Hang on, time out. Okay, time in. This is how you do a finishing move. Except they had a mini screen in the way. Sorry. <laughs> We've seen it before. Hmm. All these brainwashed chumps. You guys gotta start thinking for yourselves. Mel Graham sort of just hobbling away there. That's okay. So yeah, I think Harold... I think he has, like, maybe a few hours left to live. So we... We just made it. Just in the nick of time. I'm sure you were all wondering, is this guy the boss? The answer is, in fact, yes. So thanks to our protagonist for spelling it out for us. And yeah, the final boss is a human. Yeah, this was sort of touched upon by, um, I guess, I think Cherrymon, or possibly Andromon, or maybe both, uh, where it was mentioned that humans were around and they were kind of kind of jerks turns out this game was just a giant allegory for the civil war who knew oh no not machine Dramon! 
Analog man, he's... He's, uh, oh. Oh, whenever you're ready. Take your time. Okay, there he goes. I'm sure that whoever he summons is gonna be a chump comp uh, oh, oh no. Oh, jeez. I was gonna say, we beat up Numumon for Pete's sake. How hard can this guy be? Very hard, apparently. So yeah, um, he has probably max stats, I would think. He has at least max health. 9,999, so that's fun. You can't ever get Machine Dramon as your own guy, at least not... Maybe if you had, like, uh, some kind of... Some kind of hack, I don't know if that would work. But once you beat the game, you can actually play... Aside from story mode, there's another mode, which is, like, kind of an arena? And it's, you can play against other people, so you'd insert your memory card, your friend can insert their memory card, and you can battle with whatever Digimon you've had. And so once you beat Machine Dramon here, you'll get a copy of your own Machine Dramon to fight in that arena mode, and it'll have just the stats of whatever Digimon you beat him with. So it's pretty cool. But yeah, other than that, I don't think there's any way to get Machine Dramon, unfortunately. I'm trying to think of who I first beat Machine Dramon with when I was a kid. I think it was probably Vedamon, who... I don't know if I explained this. I... Don't think I did, but Vedamon is sort of the default ultimate you get when you sort of have a champion who's ready to digivolve, but your stats don't meet the requirements for any of the, like, their normal ones. So if you get Vedamon, uh, it kind of didn't do a good job. I mean, it's it's something. He's, he's not too bad. He has a good... He has some good moves, but... Yeah. It's kind of a consolation prize, I guess. And then, so after that, I think I beat him also with Vegemon, who was surprisingly good. I remember him, like, kicking ass. And there we go. And Machine Dramon has just... Disappeared into the Phantom Zone. That's okay. We, we beat him up a little too hard. Oh, my most powerful slave! Take a hike, old man. You were wrong. Kids rule. <laughs> Even though you wanted to enslave them all and you brainwashed everybody and pretty much ruined their entire lives, if you apologize... I mean, maybe the Digimon will forgive you. I don't think so, actually. That I, I think they're probably gonna probably gonna kill you. They get their hands on you. Also, if you apologize for trying to blow up the island, maybe they'll forgive you too. And look at this Poindexter. Ugh, what a dork. But uh, that's it. That's the end. Can't can't save him. He's gonna blow up the island.
Let me just emerge from my black hole here. And I guess Erdramon is going to fly us out, although Harold, he does have wings, technically, so it's a little unnecessary. I wish I could stay, but my mom worries. Also, you guys basically kidnapped me, so I'd kind of like to leave now. I know our character speaks for all of us when he says, I had a great time. Harold, we had such a good adventure together. It was, I mean, we, did you see how we blew that man up? Ugh. I know I'll never forget it. Oh, uh. <laughs> well, the, um, hmm. Well, the audio is a little glitched, but that's okay. Just adding to the the ambiance, I suppose. This incessant whining. Oh, good, good. God, even the even the end credits couldn't be normal. Had to be something weird about that. All right. And yeah, that's the uh, the game. Although there is a little bit more we can do. That's not quite it. So yeah, this is. I think easily one of my favorite games that I've played, partly because of nostalgia and just it's it's very replayable. Uh, it's easy to just like you know kind of beat it and be like, all right, let's let's try it again, see who I get. And it's just it's fun to to kind of collect them all. It's not catching them all. Let's let's not get confused here. This is Digimon. It's not Pokemon. It um it's very easy to. <laughs> to poke fun at. It's not always translated great, but with the whole, I had great time, but it's hard is in the right place, and that's what matters. So special thanks to Agumon, Tyrannomon, Janet, and of course, Chicken Nuggets. Jeez, the audio is still freaking out. Just stop. Please. Ugh, that was a nightmare. No. Oh. Hmm. This is interesting. Uh, I don't... I don't think I can actually show off the post-game content. That's thanks. Yeah, so I've been doing- I didn't even think of that. I've been doing save states because this is on my uh, computer. I'm using an emulator. I do have the disk, but I can't use a memory card and record all this. So yeah, I don't actually have a save file to continue from, I guess technically. So that, that's unfortunate. I had wanted to, to show off I mean, there, there wasn't, like, a lot to, to show off still, but... Uh, oops. Well, I guess I'll kind of run through what happens in the aftermath of what we've done. So the mini-bosses we defeated will actually go to the city, and they'll be recruited to it and have their own little jobs. Erdramon will also have his own job in the city. So I guess I'll head down to where they would be. They're not actually going to be there, obviously, but... 
Megadramon will just hang outside the arena here. Doesn't He doesn't actually do anything. He joins the arena and he's a tough opponent, but he'll just kind of piss and moan outside about how you beat him. And I think both Airdramon and Metal Greymon are inside the arena. Airdramon is a fortune teller, and Metal Greymon is, I guess, sort of a nickname generator. There's nothing, you know, it's just these, like, kind of cute little things they do. Nothing too, nothing too helpful, if, for being perfectly honest. And Devamon will show up in the secret item shop, and he will sell devil chips, which are pretty good at getting up stats. I think there's one that will get your HP and MP up by 500, which is good, but at the cost of shortening your Digimon's lifespan. So when I was younger, I used to get them a lot to try and get different Digimon. And uh, yeah, that's, that's sort of a dick move in retrospect. Also, it turns out the Analog Man isn't quite gone. Every once in a while, Gigimon will let us know that Analog Man has returned and we have to go beat him up again. Which I think is, is neat, because it's an interesting way to kind of keep the post-game content uh, still feeling like it's difficult and as if there's stuff to do. So if you want to keep trying to raise all the new Digimon and like fill out the chart, then you can do that. So I, I, I do like that aspect of it. Also, if you go into Mount Infinity where you fought Machine Dramon, you will also find Digitumon there uh, the second time you head to that area, and he will have the same stats as Machine Dramon, uh, if I recall correctly, like, you know, f max health and everything. And once you beat him, you'll recruit him to the city, and he'll work in the restaurant, probably selling, I don't know, eggs or something, like omelets, something on the nose like that. And uh, I think with Digitamamon and the other mini-bosses I listed, that would have been everybody I could have possibly recruited to File City. I don't think I had missed anybody. And so when all is said and done, you should, I think, have a prosperity rating of around 100. At least, I would think, if not, you know, 100 exactly. So I would have gotten there. And that's pretty much it. I hope you enjoyed this Let's Play of Digimon World. I know that I enjoyed making these videos. And thanks for watching!